Hey, what's up guys? I bet you were like, wow, what's up with the big blue screen? I don't get it. Um, well, I'm about to show you guys something really cool. Um, I'm about to immortalize my Uncle Leo O'Brien one more time. And how am I going to do that? This right here, baby. This is Durkham Detective Agency. This is a pet detective TV movie that my Uncle Leo did in 1982, a few years before he did Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon, which a lot of you people know him from. But I'm trying to preserve his work. I'm trying to preserve his legacy. And a part of that is collecting and putting all his work on my YouTube channel. Uh, my Uncle Leo taught me how to act pretty much. He was my best friend and writing partner. So I want to share his talent with you, show you guys that anything's possible. And uh, FYI, Durkham Detective Agency was the movie that inspired Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Yes. Also, my Uncle Leo was the original writer for the movie Class Act, starring Kid and Play, but the idea got stolen from him after him and Barry Gordy got into an argument at his house one summer. Yeah. Anyway, this is the cover. I'll be back here in the background making commentary. It's also another famous celebrity in this film. And he's not like Denzel famous, but you'll recognize him. And I'll mention that as I'm back here chilling, sipping on my brew, eating my popcorn you know, doing my thing. So you guys enjoy. I'm about to flip the camera around for y'all, get it started. So y'all enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you like all the things that you have been seeing. All right, here we go, folks. This is raw and unedited. Here we go, team. Sally Kellerman. So you guys see my uncle's name pop up in the credits there a second ago. I actually watched this with my uncle and uh, we had the best time laughing and talking about some of the behind the scenes. And we also used to do the same thing watching The Last Dragon. My Uncle Leo O'Brien is also the brother of famous rap icon Grandmaster G from the Sugar Hill Gang. That's the other famous actor I was telling you guys about. You can't see him right now, but the black guy right there is the gentleman that was stuttering in Harlem Nights, the boxer. He's like, yeah, sister, somebody can get their ass kicked tonight. <laughs> Ah, uh, Dirk 
right, ma'am. What'd you lose? Oh, I didn't lose anything. You did. Ma'am? You just lost your office space again. <laughs> Zoe? <coughs> I mean, Zoe? Yeah, bad news, kids. Uncle Manny finally leased that suite. So you super sleuths are out. But a dentist just vacated up on a level. Sally it smells me. real bad, but I think I can slip you in there for a while. Thanks, Zoe. We won't get it right on it. What's up? Uh, we're moving our office to a new and better location. Again? There ought to be a law. They wouldn't treat liquid man like this. Liquid Your uncle was like 10 years old, old in this one. Obviously, you haven't read liquid man lately. Theo, someday these comics are going to be collector's items. Trash collectors. All right, it's about time for school. Give me a quick status report on yesterday's business. One tree cat rescued. Four cents. I beat that. Trap down Perry Watson's lost catches me. Score a half a buck. It's good detective work, guys, but it's just not good enough. At this rate, we're never going to be real detectives with a real office. We aren't doing so badly. I admit, we're not exactly Magnum P.I. We aren't even Magnum P.U. Is there a difference? Sorry, we already know we're fast with all these nickel and dime jobs. Finding lost dogs and cats. And filing missing parakeet reports. It's kid stuff, so. Oh. Yeah, we're ready for the big one. The cable that's gonna put us on the map and prove that we're real detectives. And this is the thing that's gonna do it. A telephone answering machine. What's the matter? I don't do a good enough job. I mean, I'm cheap. I'm free. Zoe, huh. you've been terrific. Yeah, right. But you leave every night at five. And everyone knows the detective's best case comes to the darkest hours of the night when the city sleeps. But this machine never sleeps. Only trouble is, we can't afford the box that comes in. Ah, greetings, greetings. Hi, Hi man. So, what's going to be today, David? Cowboys, astronauts? I told you, Uncle Manny, we're detectives. Still? Where's you kids' imagination? Don't you ever play anything different? We are not playing, Mr. Crespo. Oh, right, right. Careful what you say around them, Zoe. It can be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> detectives, that's cute. I was only one years old when this came out. Oh, uh, I'm open the doors for two or three days. He'll be fine. Art? Art? Oh, yeah, there it is. You'll never get rich like that, Art. Huh? Oh, sorry. Gee, I don't know where my mind is. You know, uh, you look worse than Van Gogh. Not been sleeping well lately? Zoe, I'm in deep trouble. Two valuable poodles are missing from my kennel this morning. Missing poodles? Yeah, show dogs, no less. I'm boarding for a client of mine who's on vacation. Cleanup boy left their cages unlocked when he watered them. They got out through the back gate, which he also left unlocked. I, I should know better than to hire kids. <laughs> Rock and roll. Scrambles their brains. Have you called the police? What, and explain them? I put police record to them as soon as they come back into town? Oh, no. I want those dogs found and fast. I think you're in luck, Art. I just happen to know a detective agency that specializes in lost pets. Really? They're young, but they're very aggressive. How much are they going to charge me? Two valuable poodles. Oh, I'd say, uh, rough figures. Hundred and nine ninety-five. Hundred and nine. Nice to see you. Ninety-five.
Dr. Arthur, please hold for Detective Durkham. <clears throat> Durkham here? Zoe Grinkers preferred me. Oh, yeah, uh, of course. Hold on just a minute, will you, Hal? I'll be right with you. Uh, Dirk, <laughs> yeah, uh, listen, I, I haven't heard of you before. What's it, you new in town? Oh, no, no, sir. Uh, I've been around 11, 11 and a half years. Oh. Now, could you describe those lost dogs for me? Yeah, uh, excuse me. They're, they're two toys. Sir? Well, you know, two matching toy poodles, both white. Two white toy poodles? Yeah. Now, can you give me the owner's address? Oh, sure. It's just routine, sir. We have to run down all our leads. 1251. 1251. Yeah, Longwood Drive. Longwood Drive. Boy, what a mess. <laughs> Wait till I see that. Larry. My uncle was the Larry. youngest one. Yeah, you know, Larry Shattuck. The kid who let the dogs escape. Larry Shattuck? Dirty Larry. Hello. Uh. What's that? You're on the phone? Gesundheit. Hey, uh, let me know if you if you find anything, okay? Uh, yeah, okay. David, if those poodles like most of the dogs we look for, they're probably gonna head straight for home, and we're gonna be there staking it out. See anything yet, Theo? Not a sign of them. Maybe when two dogs get lost at the same time, they get twice as lost. Jake, for your parents' sake, I hope this is just a phase you're going through. Hold it! Suspect sighted! But only one! One's better than none! Come on, guys, move in! Shut up. Dog we found must have gotten away from them. 
in a bowl. A bowl, huh? While our fine china is ruined. So let's do. Oh, yeah, yeah.
Listen, I give this to Dirk and Wayne. Tell me he's worth every penny of it. On second thought, you kids will probably lose it. I better give it to him myself. But that's not necessary, Doctor. Detective Durkham trusts us implicitly. Well, maybe he knows what he's doing. We really did it! Daisy! Yeah. Oh, so All right! Awesome. awesome! We finally pulled it off! <coughs> uh, have a pleasant day, sir. A good day, Doctor Arthur. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. How well do you know those kids? I knew you could do it, but if it's not a trade secret, where on earth did you find that second dog? Two guys in a van had it. You mean thieves? Alleged thieves. You mean they stole them and then just let them go? Allegedly. Well, the important thing is that Art has his dogs back and you all did such a great job. You know, maybe they weren't stolen at all. Oh, of course not. I mean, that Larry, what's his name, left the cage open and... But we don't think that's how it happened either. I gotta get back to my office. Here's your key. You're in room 1541. And I'm sure you'll, uh... Find it, uh, real cozy. Mmm, cozy. Listen, guys, we've got bigger problems than this. Anything's bigger than this. Listen, we want to be real detectives, and a real detective doesn't consider a case closed until all the questions have been answered. And Zoe pointed out, we have a lot to answer. Yeah, what about Larry? Well, he's still a prime suspect. However, can we prove him guilty in the court of law? Beyond a reasonable doubt? I reasonably doubt it. And that's why this investigation is still wide open. Agreed? <laughs> no room to disagree. Night watch one to night watch two. Do you read over? Repeat. Night watch one to night watch two. Do you copy over? Theo, why haven't you been answering? Jake, I'll tolerate the trench coat. We're talking until Liquor Man's neighbors were odds on the line. Theo, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be staking out the warehouse. It's dead there, and the entire warehouse is empty. Empty? David, I think maybe David's dematerializing. There was a story like that in my last Liquor Man comic. Oh, Jake, you're so 11. I suppose it was emptied out because we scared him off the other day. Yeah, I think you're right. Is Larry still there, or did he vanish, too? He's there, cleaning up. Probably. Oh, my God! A signal! It's secret call! Yeah, he was still now 10. He didn't turn 11 until November. Who's there? He was saying he was he 11. He said, who's there? What is that? in on a little secret, and then you beat it while you can still walk. Sounds fair to me. How about you guys? Dr. Arthur gave this to me. It's my monthly paycheck. But you see, that sounds real boring, so I told my girl about secret contacts. <laughs> Looks like I was pretty convincing. What's that? I tell you, the kid's gone. He always leaves the lights on and back. Oh, 
with the blonde hair kind of looks like Johnny from the Karate Kid, right?
show dogs and even break up theft rings. You deserve nothing less than your own permanent office. Yeah! Yes, I decided to lease it to you. But how can we afford... For a dollar a month. Is that going to be true? Oh, wait, there's more. You ain't seen nothing yet. I took the liberty of ordering... <laughs> Dirk of Detective Agency. That's me. Our investigators are all out at the moment, so please leave your name and message at the tone. Thanks for calling. Hey, Dirk, I'm at Shattuck. Um, I owe you guys an apology. You cleared my rep with Dr. Arthur, and I really appreciate it. Hey, you guys aren't kidding. You really are detectives, huh? Look, if anybody at school ever bothers you about that Sherlock stuff, just let me know, okay? Bye. My own personal bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> Check him out. Uh, Dirk of Detective Agency. Dirk, I'm speaking. I hear you're good. Will the grand of day cover you? I beg your pardon? Just find that book. What's in there could put half a Joyce in jail, including yours truly. Now, I know he had it on him when he skipped to Rio. <laughs> I hope you folks enjoyed that on this episode of Dragon Mike TV. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure, make sure you support the remake of The Last Dragon. Thank you, folks.